What's going on guys? Um, this is a video of going to be my EDC truck stuff. I've got some new stuff I'm trying to work into my EDC and all like that. So stay tuned and I'll get right back with y'all. Like I said before guys, this is going to be a little video of what I keep inside my truck on a daily basis. Some stuff may change, some stuff is not gonna change. I got my truck set up to lock automatically when I unlock the door or step outside the truck. And the first thing I carry in my truck is some of these Gatorade shoes. Those are pretty good. I've got two things of Coban. I've got an assortment of pins. Um, pens, markers, and stuff like that, and I carry just a couple notebooks here. I think there's a, a knife under there, but we'll go inside the truck. Let me get it in here. And I usually carry an extra ball cap here for work and all. Then I've got my Whistler radar detector, an extra pair of sunglasses for work, earplugs for work. Then now since all the covid mess is going around i keep a thing of hand sanitizer this is germ war then in my center console this is something new i'm trying out so i just tossed it in there because i bought it the other day this is a magazine loader let's see what else i carry in here some allergy medicine because I, I cut grass at work and all and i have pretty bad allergies gun keys boat keys um sh shotgun choke tool um some cleaning cloths and he put with my cleaning gun cleaning stuff air fresheners multi-tool a small usb power light the charger for it um a car wash brush that's about it in there oh, medicine but um i usually keep uh my sunglasses my good sunglass case in here it used to ride right here where the hand sanitizer went, but like I said, the COVID mask, so I keep the hand sanitizer right here. Let's see if we can get into where I like to keep my gun. That's important mail, but this is where I, I used to sometimes keep my gun. Sorry for the mess, but I carry a Springfield Mod 2 subcompact with an extra mag. Let's go ahead and get this stuff situated back again. And let's hop into the back and see what all I have on the behind the drivers. And in this side pocket, I keep another good sturdy sheath knife, some ratchet straps, um, an extra t shirt. Because, like I said, I cut grass at work, so I'm all the time getting dirty and all. And in my truck, it's got these extra pull out doors in the rear seats. I keep uh, some bags like walmart style bags and uh my work mm, rain jacket and uh in this on the center console i keep my battlecock from soe um that's that's the bigger version right there and um i keep an extra set of hearing protection and uh, an unopened bang i should probably toss on the cooler but let's go on the other side, behind the passenger seat. Um, it is summertime, so I keep a cooler full of drinks, waters, Gatorades, green teas, and just random stuff like that in there. And on this side, in the driver or the passenger side door, I don't. I just toss a screwdriver. That's something I was using at work, and some lifeboat matches. But um, flags. I like to have them on my truck like i said an extra hat that's my nice hat i wear out and uh i keep a shemog covering up some of my important stuff like i've got a first aid kit a pair of the leatherman raptor shears an sol survival blanket my holster for another gun you'll see here in a minute and some extra cr12 or one two three CR one two threes or whatever. I keep some extra 
batteries because my EDC flashlight I carry is runs off those and some little trees right here is my repelling gear because I work up at Nakalula Falls and so I like to have some some good sturdy repelling gear just in case I need it. I hope I don't need it, but if I, if push comes to shove and I do need it, I have it. And this is what else the holster goes goes for. Let's see if I can pull it out. Oh, the lights on. That ain't good. Let me clear it real quick for y'all. It's kind of hard doing one handed. I'm just trying to. But this is my CAA MCK. This is my truck gun. This is the one that's dedicated for my truck. It's a Glock 20 chamber in 10 millimeter in this chassis. I've got a single point sling and I've got three magazines in here. I've got this 130 round and 215 round. I got some just cheap iron flip up sights and a Olight PL Pro. Um, this is something new. I haven't really shot it much. So I'm not really going to say if I like it or dislike it or not. But that's a uh, that goes slides up under my passenger seat, and I keep the single point sling out. So if I do get in a scenario where I, I do need it and I can't get to my other gun. Or if I'm not carrying my other gun and I, I need something due to all the riders and all, I just I would just want to be safe than sorry. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. And like I said, I carry a Shamog. And this is the Chris Kyle Punisher seat. I bought it because, like I said, it has the Molly webbing. I like to keep a first aid kit it's got a tourniquet and blood stop or quick clots and israeli bandages and all of that in it and like i said the raptor shears we'll just strip that over right now I, I don't keep a whole lot of stuff in my truck here's the front of it what it looks like but we'll we'll go on the outside I haven't done much modifications to the outside. I've changed the antenna to the aluminum bullet one. Let's see if we, there it goes, it's focused. Um, I've been just put a, a front license plate on there to have a little bit more shiny chrome on it because this truck don't have hardly any chrome. Like I said, I have a, a cooler. I have the soft cooler I'll swap some drinks over to. If I'm gonna be cutting grass all day, I'll toss this on the back of the lawnmower. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty good. We've got an ice maker there at work. So I'll fill it up by ice and put some drinks in it. And I've got some car wash. Um, I was meaning to go to the truck wash the other day and use their pressure washer. And I like to carry my own cleaning rag and all. Then right up under here, I've got a small DeWalt bag that's got just some quick detail stuff in there. But yeah, let's flip this thing around if we can. Why not flip it around? Let me get right back with. You. So yeah, guys, if y'all if y'all enjoyed this sh short video, it's not gonna be a whole long video, 10, 12 minutes probably. Um, if like I said, if y'all like this video, like, subscribe, comment. Um, thank. Uh, um, comment what y'all think I need to add or take out of my truck. I'm planning on trying to get a start an EDC bag. Cause I feel like I'm running back and forth to my truck to grab a pen or the notepad. So it'd probably be easier for me to just carry a bag into work. We have a small shop and get a locker so I can lock it up in the locker. And, um, yeah, if y'all, like I said, if you like, subscribe, comment, um, that's, that's just about it. Um, I do keep a two inch ball hitch on the back of my truck. I am going to try to get a recovery hitch, which has got the big D clasp in it. And try to get some recovery gear because it's, my truck is the trail boss which is full wheel drive and it's got a little bit of off-road capabilities on it um but that's that's about it that's this is my daily driver um i have a 69 camaro which i drive pretty regularly i need to do a video on that here soon hopefully i can put it in the shop and try to do a little restoring 
this is the building that's parked in is my garage or my shop I've built and we're still working on it let's see as you can tell there's all the wire in there it's a, it's a work in progress we've been working on it for about three months now the money and all of that's tied me up and then uh, the COVID mess come around and it hit and it just messed everything up and there's I was trying to help parents out and buy groceries and all that so but yeah if y'all had a good y'all <laughs> had a good day yeah make sure y'all have a good day and we'll get right back with y'all later